You're watching local news 8 in the morning. Welcome back. It's now 656. Here are your three things to know this morning. Number one, the Idaho Falls City Council declared the railroad property behind the new law enforcement complex a public nuisance, and this allows the city to uh, do something about it. And they're communicating and maintaining a working relationship with the Union Pacific Railroad, who owns the property, in hopes of striking a deal for a potential cost sharing for the cleanup. Number two, the preliminary hearing for Jeremy Best that was set for Monday is now being vacated by order of the court. So all proceedings in this case are now on hold until a mental capacity determination can be made. Best is charged with two counts of first degree murder in Teton County, Idaho. And number three, the University of Idaho is planning to tear down the house where four students were murdered last year during winter break. Brian Koberger is being charged with the murders of all four students and is currently being held in the Latah County Jail and a date for his trial has not been set. You can find these stories and more at localnews8.com and on the Local News 8 app. All right, let's check back in on the weather with Jeff Roper. A live look at Tetonia on 33, and I'll go ahead and broadcast this because this is what I have forecast. The next best chance of any kind of precip is going to be on into next Wednesday. So just be prepared. We're going to see some of that freezing fog into the morning hours. So you're going to need to use your dim lights. Usually Friday's kind of a slow day. I don't know what people do. They just sit at the house and eat some of that pumpkin chocolate bread that you got over at Great Harvest or maybe one of them giant cinnamon rolls from the Virginian. I'll show you that on Monday. If you've never experienced one of those, you be prepared. Wind chills this morning are at about three in Driggs, 10 in IF, 13 for Pocatello, and then we're going to see about six for the wind chill into Soda Springs. How much time I got left here? Because I, I really want to focus to, I got two minutes. All right, so let me show you the visibility so that you know what to expect driving out this morning. Traffic will probably be a little bit lighter, but we still have issues there around the Flying Y and Pocatello and Chubbuck over towards Soda as well and maybe over toward Jackson. It's just going to be one of those uh, waiting on the sun to come up kind of days as we get started. The kids at the bus stop are going to need to be bundled up as well. Uh, we'll see temps in the teens and it will be much, much cooler than that because of the little breeze that we get around here. I want you to download the weather app and just know the fog it burns off a little bit. We'll get some partly sunny conditions in here. We'll be in the lower 30s for the day today. Again, another foggy Friday night. Good night to go see some Christmas lights. If you can get a hot day, good for you. Here's Blackfoot this morning, <laughs> and it looks like we've got some traffic off the side of the road. I'm not sure what's going on here. I can't really see because of the fog, so that means you need to slow down too. I want to make sure you're careful. Today, there'll be sun mixed with the freezing fog. The advisory through 2 o'clock freezing in soda 34 in IF we get down again into the teens tonight and a gradual warm-up into the weekend so it's going to be a little more mild I got about a minute left Pocatello 35 down to 20 tonight and then we'll see Idaho Falls with the fog hopefully burning off today but you know that frost and the fog from yesterday and even that little snowfall that we had people were taking some great Instagram pictures you got a wacky <laughs> Unique Christmas tradition. Dylan has a gift that gets passed around. What is it? Well, my mom's side of the family used to, we do this white elephant thing on Christmas Eve. We used to do that. And there's this one thing that got passed around like for years. And it was like a baking accident where it's something got left in there too long. And so whatever was baked onto the pan so, so much that <laughs> you, we couldn't take it off. Oh, no. That little pan with that little whatever it was. Burnt. Burnt, burnt whatever offering, whatever it was. <laughs> Uh, Y'all would pastor. wrap it and just... Yeah, they'd wrap it differently <laughs> so no one could do, figure out what it was. Here, and, have a charred nuclear accident. And, and, yeah. would get it. and they yeah. got passed around for a while. Where's that pan now? I have your, no idea. Who made that dish? I, I think it was my grandpa. I can't remember. You're going to blame exactly. it on your granddad. Yeah. Maybe. So funny. Uh, wow, that's that is pretty unique. Yeah, that's good. Get play. some steak sauce. Your local news is now available on any of these streaming services and devices. <laughs>